All right, so here we are going to a new computer art lesson, and in this lesson we're going to take a uh, photo and add some glow and blur lines to kind of accentuate the action of uh, the subject. And so in this instance, I started with a black and white photo of Jimmy Page, guitarist from Led Zeppelin, and added a lens flare and then a glowing kind of outline to the guitar, um, another glow line that's kind of a calligraphy brush that looks like it goes around him, um, and then some more motion blur lines, and then a radial blur line on top of that to really kind of add some um, visual interest and just kind of jazz up this uh, portrait a little bit. And so um, let's get started on a new example here. And so for the size, we'll take inches and do a width of 10 and a height by eight of eight. Um, and you may change these around depending on the uh, orientation of your photo. And so um, for this example, I'm going to go over to my browser, and I've already queued up a search of some images of Jimi Hendrix, and I found a good example here that I could uh, do some manipulating too. Um, and I'm just going to borrow this for uh, this project. Um, of course, um, knowing that this image probably has its own copyrights, uh, but you know. Just for this example, I'm going to borrow an image. and. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, paste this in here. And I'm going to enlarge this picture a little bit. So as I was saying, you could always take your own source photos. It's always a good thing to practice. But in this instance, we're going to just kind of borrow another photo and jazz it up a bit. Um, so let's see. The first thing we want to do here is we're gonna actually um, just draw that glow line that looks like it wraps around him. Okay, so we're gonna take our pen tool for that, and we actually want it to be set to path. You've got two options, path or shape. Set to path is good, and so what we're gonna do is kind of start maybe over here on this side, and then when I click the second time, I'm going to click and hold and drag. And that allows me to curve that line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead back over here and click and drag this line so that it curves. All right, and I'm going to click and drag this again. Again, click and drag the line out one last time over here. And then maybe this last one. I'll have kind of come out over here by the guitar, maybe over on this side this way. All right, so that looks pretty good. If you ever want to change the points on your pen path, um, you can go to the Convert Anchor Point Tool, and that will let you kind of take and rebend these points. Um, the other thing you can do is um, you can uh, take and move them, I believe, if you've got the pen tool selected. Or maybe it's the move tool. No, okay, so um, I, I like positioning my line. That works well. Um, so let's go ahead to the next step, which is to, um, to create a brush line that goes along this pathway that we just made here. So we're going to select my brush tool and I'm going to go into my brush menu here and the brushes that I thought looked best when I was just doing this before were calligraphic brushes. So let's have some um, different kind of points and tip ends to them. And I think those are these at the bottom here. And so some of these that can look pretty cool are these ones that kind of go at a slant. Um, you can experiment with lots of these brushes though. Um, you know, try a few different out and we'll see what kind of works best. Um, so I'll take this one here as it goes on a slant. I kind of know what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to use kind of like a reddish color, I think, for this glow. Kind of play off what's going on in the background. Um, and so what I want to do now is actually um, go to my pen tool again. All right, pen tool. I'm going to create a new layer. Actually, wait, if I have my brush tool, let's see what this says. Nope, okay, so right. I do want to be, I want to go to pen tool and I'm going to right click on this pathway to bring up this menu, there we go. And what I want to select is stroke path option. 
And what that's going to do is tell this path to use the brush tool along this uh, bar. And we want to have this stimulate pressure uh, button checked. We'll say OK, and there we go. That kind of gives us a nice pen line um, right where we wanted it. So next we're going to do is we're going to use our effects bar panel right here. And we're actually going to make this do its glow now. So we want to select outer glow from the options here. Um, you can see the color selected still is a greenish color. We can change our color right here in this box. Obviously we want maybe more of a red or an orange kind of tone for this glow. That orangey kind of tone is actually pretty nice. Kind of change things up a little bit. Cool. Okay, now when we go over here, we want to see some different options. Um, we've got the spread, so we can make the spread of this glow bigger. Um, we can make the size of it bigger. We can kind of make it more spread out that way. Um, you've got things like range here. All right, jitter, some different bars. Make sure you kind of play around with all these things and see. Um, you know what kind of works best. There we go. So turning up the opacity a little bit. Make that stand out just a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. And then noise. The noise kind of breaks it up a little bit, which can be an interesting effect. But I'm kind of going for more of a smoother glow kind of mode. Great. And uh, when you think you got that good, you can say OK. You can also kind of look at what the other options are here. So you have drop shadows. Um, which we don't really want in this instance. Uh, things like inner glows, that kind of adds an inner glow to that line, which is kind of cool. Maybe I'll keep that in there, actually. So inner glow here, again, has the same options as far as you know, opacity, um, brightness, noise, um, and all these kind of different options. So I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to keep that. And now to make this kind of line really stand out and seem like it's going around him, I'm going to go ahead and just use my eraser tool to kind of erase the parts where I want it to be behind him. So I'm going to zoom in here. And maybe I'll turn down the opacity just a little bit so that I can see him through it a little better. And I want this part to kind of go behind his head. And so I'm going to erase all this here and then it's going to be coming in front of his head and then down here it will cut again behind so we're going to erase all of this line here and then it should come around and go in front again and then this one would cut behind so again taking this line all the way out there we go and that comes around in front and I think that should look good zoom out here and uh, turn the opacity back up and see we got cool all right and so when you're pretty happy with that if you are happy with it oh actually you know what I just realized I didn't really make it go around the microphone the same way I wanted it to go around his face so that's a little confusing there right so let's see got my eraser tool back out it goes behind the hair in front it should also go behind this microphone. Yeah, there you go. So it goes behind the microphone as well. Comes back in front, goes again in front there. Cool. Yeah, I could even mess with this, make it go behind the microphone there. Nice. And there's another added little touch there. Okay, so um, opacity is all the way up. And once you have it done, you can um, you can right click on this, um, choose your pen tool, right click on it. We could actually get rid of the path. So see this option here, delete the path. Cool. So um, now we've got that all set. So the path's gone, and it just looks like the brush line kind of wraps around them. Pretty cool so far. So let's just add a couple more things to this before we go. Um, I'm going to add a couple bl more blur lines. Let's see. Let's keep this kind of in the warm scheme. I'm going to go with like a yellowish color here. Take this yellow, I'm going to go back to my brush tool and I'm going to add a new layer for this one. I want to add like three or four layers of brushes to this. I'm just going to make a line that kind of goes all the way around him. 
And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go to my filter menu and then go down to blur. And we're going to do it called a radial blur with this. And that's going to make this spin in a circle. All right, so let's say OK there at about 50. And so that just adds kind of interesting, nice again, little kind of circular lines um, to this. Um, another kind of blur we can do, again, kind of keep it to warmer colors. So let's go with like a purplish color here. Um, I'm going to go with kind of these kind of like swooping brush lines here. Oops, I wanted these to be on different layers. So I'm going to go to my history menu and go back to that radial blur. I want this again on a separate layer. So again, we're going to go and make these kind of overlapping lines kind of leading into the guitar, into the center here and out. And we're going to do another filter blur. This time we're going to go with it's called a motion blur. And so this one gives you a live preview. We can change our angles here to kind of get what we feel is a good kind of added action in the shot. Well, that's pretty cool. I like how these are kind of coming more upwards now out of that. So, all right, so we'll say okay to that. And I think that that pretty much covers it. So we've got one uh, motion blur here. So make sure you use one motion blur and you use one radial blur. And then this is actually a stroke path. So that's the stroke path that we made with our pen tool. And I took out the path at the end there. So that's how you can take a picture and, um, and add some jazz up to it. Um, your picture doesn't necessarily have to be black and white. You can do this with colored pictures as well. Um, just stands out well on the, uh, on the background there. Um, and you can feel free to add in things like lens flares too, if you want. Let's do that real quick before we go here. So maybe we'll render a lens flare. And maybe add in this little kind of guy, maybe somewhere by his hand here in this corner, maybe somewhere up there. I think by this hand would be kind of a cool spot. Let's see, different lens flares we have options for here. That's kind of cool. Kind of like just that first one there. Cool, a little lens flare added to it. So um, have fun, be creative, and, uh, and I hope you have lots of luck with this project.